I'm moving now into 5.8, conductor jamming. Chapter 9, Table 1, there's a note to the Table 1. And that note says, informational note 2, where three conductors are pulled into a raceway. Does this only apply to three conductors? Yeah, only three. <clears throat> where they'll, they'll, occasionally, they'll occasionally flatten out. When the outside diameter raceway is between 2.8 and 3.2 times the diameter of, the, of a conductor, the conductor jamming can occur. Eric, can you tell us what the heck are we talking about? Well, okay, <clears throat> the reason it, it's for three is because when you're pulling in three, it's kind of triangular. But every now and then when you're pulling and it's moving around corners and stuff, it'll try to flatten out and you have three diameters across. One second. When we <clears throat> bend a raceway, is there a spot that the raceway kind of gets like a little round to like a little flatter and L then it yeah. kind of gets round again? A little elliptical, right? Yeah, so I can see where a little elliptical so that I can see where the three wires are like this. Then all of a sudden they can kind of like get a little wider because right. they can, right? But then all of a sudden <clears throat> they're trying to go back to an area that becomes more of a, a circle, right? right? But now you're saying, well, because they're kind of laid three, but then they get along this edge in the turn, and they kind of flatten out, and now they might not go back, right. and now they're going to jam. Yeah, and usually, you know, the conductor fill is all based on area, but when you flatten out like that, now you have three diameters next to each other. Now you're looking at diameters. <clears throat> and then they're gonna jam as they now enter. Right, because now they, they get next to each other, and then they tighten up, and, and you feel it in the fish tape, and you're like, uh-oh, I can't pull it anymore, what just happened? Okay, only three wires. Brian? So I'm just going to ask a question because, you know, I've had the experience both ways. Larger raceway was easier to pull and a smaller raceway is easier to pull. And I, and I never actually <clears throat> knew about this when I would have thought to actually calculate it. So am I better to go above 3.2 usually or <clears throat> below 2.2? Well, I just happen to have a spreadsheet on my screen right here. Oh, well, there and, you go. Uh, well, just, <laughs> because boy, Imagine that just happened to happen. Eric <laughs> actually does have that spreadsheet. <laughs> And so I'll just give you some examples of, of, of what we have here. So if you have, and this is all THHN and EMT. Okay. So three eighths and a half inch is likely to jam. So three eighths and a half inch. Okay. Oh, you have the actual conductors <clears throat> that are likely to jam. Right, right. Because, okay, let's look at this graphic here for a second though. And then I want to get back to yours. We're talking about the ratio of the diameter of this raceway relative to the diameter of the conductors. Guys, follow what I'm saying? Yes. So that if the ratio is less than 2.8, well, then they can't get to the point where they could jam if it's less than 2.8 because your they're, your wires are they're, too off, small. they're, they're off, <clears throat> off center to each other, okay? And if it's more than 3.2, well, then it, it's, it's not going to jam because there's even if they got right. next to each other, the ratio is more right. than 3.2, so therefore it can get right. flat and it can go in there. So in between that, then you went ahead and you said, okay, I know these three wires, this raceway. We took all these wires and you found out which of these would come out. You took the <clears throat> diameters of right. one wire divided by the diameter of the raceways. And you did all the different wires, raceways, and you're telling us, okay, these are the conductors <clears throat> that are likely to jam. Okay. Right, so let's give some examples. <laughs> three eighths and a half inch, three threes and a one inch, <clears throat> three one aughts in a 1.25, three three aughts in a 1.5, three two fifties in a two, three five hundreds in a 2.5. Okay. Let me tell you the ones that kind of strike me. Go with the two fifties. What were that one? There was three two fifties in a what? Three two fifties in a two inch. Okay. I would have never thought that would have yeah. been a problem. And, yeah. and, and, that, and that just that, that goes to show. So now... Back to my original question is, is it better to go a little bit under or a little bit over? Because I know you do all kinds of pulling calculations. So I was just right. Like, I would go over, actually. Go over. Okay. Yeah, because the bigger ratio, right? Well, right. I know, but that doesn't necessarily always hold true, right? And, and no, but I'm saying you told me be... a long time ago, hey, if you have three conductors, just pull in an equipment grounding conductor, whether you need it or not, because once you add a fourth conductor, you don't have a problem anymore. And I have done that, and it works. You can't That's why jam I was asking. four conductors. Right. Because that equipment grounding conductor... Right. It's going to lace itself here, and they can't have those three conductors side by side. Uh, right. We can't go, well, we don't have a picture here, but we can't. 
So if you put an equipment grounding conductor, you will never have a jamming. If not, three conductors to 250s caught my attention on the two-inch race. Yeah, wheel. I would have pulled that in a two-inch race. <clears throat> never thought twice. That's my brain was thinking. Yeah. Oh, it's a two-inch race. You want to go two and a half.